the record button now. So say hi to YouTube, everyone, because this is probably going to go on YouTube. Now, a lot of y'all probably don't know this, but I actually have roots in King of Fighters. Uh, did I play D DNF? No, I did not. I was specifically like driven to play uh, King of Fighters 15. I was that driven to the point where, for those who don't know, my PS4, I mean, yeah, my PS4 hasn't been working for a, a, quite a bit of time because I missed like a, an update. And it was happened so long ago that like I was supposed to get it fixed in time for the first King of Fighters uh, online beta test, but I didn't. But when I saw the second online beta test and the characters that they announced, I was like, oh, I have to get this fixed. And I went, I was so dedicated to getting it fixed, I just eventually said, fuck it, and wiped my PS4 clean. And then reinstalled everything. Just to play the beta. Even now, if I plug in my PS4, and like, pull it up on stream, the only thing that you'll see on my PS4 is the online beta test. That's it. There's nothing else. Like, I had like five accounts for like my, my five, my, like my five CFN smurfs. Yeah, all that's gone. My Grand Blue account, gone. All that shit is gone. It's just the King of Fighters account. I don't even have any themes on it. It's, it's literally just a blue screen for King of Fighters 15. That is it. That, that's as far as we were getting with that, right? Because as most of you have noticed, I have completely converted to PC. So, yeah, I went all in. I was dedicated. Um, In regards to the beta test, so I can't, like, give, like, feedback from the first beta because I didn't play the first beta, but I can go back. I can go based off of what I played in the second beta. And the second beta was clean as shit. Um, I didn't stream much because I was in Florida at the time, connected to hotel Wi-Fi. So obviously I'm not going to stream under those circumstances. But I played Coach Steve at the time. And while he was streaming, and I was in a hotel in Florida, connected to Wi-Fi, we played a first of three. And if memory serves, I think it only went to like delay four the entire time like the entire time it was kind of smooth if it had a spike it would spike for like maybe like two or three seconds and then go back to like normal shit like the beta was really good they, they fixed the one-sided rollback that i heard so much people dreaded uh I, they fixed the desyncs that i've heard so much people dreaded like a lot of the problems that were complained about in the first beta was fixed in the second beta I will say, however, like I did get like a chance to play it from the comfort of my own home on like on like a wired connection. Uh, I think I came home at like 12 a.m. on no, I came home at, like 12 a.m. Monday morning, and Coach Steve and Kizzy K were up, so we just ran a like couple sets during then. And honestly, playing Kizzy K, who lives in California, I believe, it felt like he was sitting right next to me. Honestly, like I didn't feel that bad. And then Coach Steve, it just felt like offline. Like, um, the online beta was a success. They even implemented, like, you could see how, like, you could see the ping instead of, like, seeing, like, an actual, like, bar connection. You could see the ping of the person that you're fighting. And they went so far to describe the ping as levels. So the lower your level was, the worse your connection was with the person. When I was in Florida, my ping level with Coach Steve was, like, level four. Which is almost like great. Uh, when I was home, obviously it was level five and everything went smoothly. Um, but if you were like hesitant on buying this game because of like your experience with the first beta, I would suggest you try out the next beta because there obviously is going to be another beta. Um, but yeah, I, I have nothing but positive things to say about the beta in all honesty.